What is up everyone? Welcome back to CJC Cards. Today is Friday, so I hope all of you guys are having a wonderful Friday. I got a little video for you guys today uh, going over some of the cards that I plan on sending into PSA to get graded for my first ever submission. Now, most of these cards are cards that I pulled out of Throwback Thursday episodes. Uh, I had one last night of 1983 tops, so there's some cards in here from that that I'm pretty excited about. But uh, I just wanted to look over these uh, with you guys, see if uh, would get your guys' thoughts. Uh, the first one I'm sending in is this. Uh, uh, this is a 1987 Donruss card, Will Clark rookie card. Now the white spots that you see, that's just some dust um, in the case. Um, I can't see maybe some bottom damage and some top damage there. Uh, and the back looks pretty good as well. Um, so we'll see on that Will Clark. Uh, I'm guessing probably a PSA 9 because you can see the white edges on the top there. Those black borders are going to be tough. This is a very cool card. We have a uh, Von Rodriguez Pudge rookie card from 1991 Bowman. Also ripped this on Throwback Thursday. Now... The corners look really good. Corners look strong on both bottom and top. Ooh, maybe that, now that I'm looking at it, that little, maybe that right corner is a little weak. But the only problem I really see with this card is that white spot right underneath his eye. So I'm guessing probably another nine on this punch. Uh, this Randy Johnson. This is from, what year was this? Uh, 89 this was 89 tops of course this thing is in really good shape I, I really don't see anything wrong with it um, that's also on the case so I, I think this card is going to come back a 10 I would hope so I don't see anything wrong with the corners or the back so that's in really good shape so 1989 tops Randy Johnson. Now the cards I'm sending in, there's 20 of them. Um, some of them, most of them are from the Junk Wax era, but uh, still would be cool. All of them are Hall of Famers, to my knowledge. <coughs> so always good to have graded Hall of Famer cards. Craig Biggio, 1989 Tops Rookie card. So that's a nice card. This card also looks very good in really good shape. Maybe this little edge right here, maybe. Um, but other than that, I don't see much wrong with this card. So cool 1989 Biggio rookie card. Got a 1991 Bowman. Uh, Jim Tomei rookie card. Looks pretty centered, actually. Um, pretty happy about this one as well. Uh, the corners look pretty strong on that, on the bottom half, and on the top half. So we'll see. I don't know exactly what to expect, because this is my first ever submission. I'm kind of nervous. Um, the back is incredibly clean. So I'm excited about seeing what all these turn out to be. Uh, this looks like a 10 to me, but then again, I don't know. This one is a 1987 Donruss Barry Bonds rookie card. This one also looks like it's in decent shape. Um, probably a nine, I'm gonna guess, just because these black borders are so tough to grade, to get graded well, because you see a little bit of fraying on the top of the card. It also happens on the bottom of the card. But the front looks pretty good, and the back looks perfect. So hoping for a nine or better. I, I, I went over through some of these and for example, I would love to have submitted this Griffey card, but you can see a major error with it. Um, this thing is way off center, left to right. Um, the left side of the card is a lot thinner than the right side, so there was no way I was gonna do that. Um, you can also see this Gwyn, this 85 Gwyn card on the top there. There's a nice little dent up top. So that's just some of the things I combed through before making this video. So I'd like to think that the cards I have here 
our nines are better. Um, but we all know PSA might be a little tough on those, especially in the junk wax era where the, the population of these cards is pretty high. Um, that is a Bo Jackson Fleer, 1987 Fleer rookie card. I have his uh, top Donruss rookie card here, but that's also incredibly off-center, so that is not going. Uh, but these blue borders, they look really good. The corners look strong. So no corner damage, no corner damage up top, maybe a little bit up in the top right corner. Um, but the back looks very good, again. I have a lot of the, I have four of the, uh, three of these Barry Larkins actually. Um, and all these look almost the same, pretty well centered on all of them. No corner damage, and once again, it's just gonna be, come down to whether those corner, whether the white frays on top are gonna take a hit. But otherwise, you know, Barry Larkin, he's a Hall of Famer, and PSA 10s of his cards go for 30 to 50 bucks, and that's a nice little turnaround. Um, I plan on selling most of these to fund my collection and to fund the channel to keep giving you guys content. So that's the end goal of sending these to PSA. Um, if some towards the end grayed out, well, I'm going to keep them and stash them. Another uh, Barry Bonds rookie card. I see one little, I think if that's not the case up there, there's a little bit of damage up in that left corner. But other than that, this looks like a very clean card. Happy about that. Gotta love Barry Bonds rookie cards. The back. I'm seeing no real like watermark damage, anything, any weird print problems, so that's good. 1987 Donruss rated rookie Mark McGuire. Now that I'm looking at this card a little bit closer with you guys, I am seeing that it is a little bit off center left to right. Uh, this right side has a little bit more less border uh, than the left side. Still a very nice card, probably a nine or maybe an eight with this damage in the right corner. Um, but Mark McGuire and a little bit of weirdness going on there. So you can see this card is not perfect. You can tell that this border is a little bit bigger because there is some ink right up there. So this is probably going to be like an eight, seven maybe. It's going to grow up. Uh, get graded pretty low now that I look at it but it's still gonna send that one in now the rest of these are from oh that's not true I'll go to this one first I'm very excited about this one uh, this is a um, 1993 tops baseball um, 92 draft pick Derek Jeter card now this thing is Maybe a little bit off center from top to bottom, maybe a little bit, um, and maybe a little left to right as well now that I'm looking at it. And the only thing I see wrong with it is there's a little print mark right there. You guys can see that little bitty print, print mark in the paper. They're probably going to dock me for that. Um, but still, got to send in a Derek Jeter rookie card. Super cool card, iconic card, so I'm not going to miss the opportunity uh, to send this in. Uh, the rest of them are from my 1983 um, Topps Baseball break that I just did. This is a 93 Pete Rose, and this card is really clean. Uh, very centered, super nice looking card. I'm pretty excited about this one. Um, the tops look good, corners look great. I don't see any markings on it. And the back is super clean as well. So very excited about this one, Pete Rose. Also got to send in a Ricky if you're doing it. You got to send in a Ricky. This is a really nice centered Rick, Ricky Henderson card. Little bit of fraying up top there if you look closely. Um, but other than that, the corners look really good. I see nothing on the card 
uh, all this white is from the case. Um, but other than that, I think this thing's very clean looking. At least a nine, I'm gonna say. I'm gonna call it at a nine. So we will see. I'm happy with, with nines and tens. Give me nines and tens. Another iconic card, Cal Ripken Jr. This thing's also pretty centered. I'm happy about that. Maybe a little off center right to left, um, as well as a little bit of damage right there. So we'll see what that one comes back. But still very cool Cal Ripken Jr. card. I got two of these, so I'm very excited to see what happens with these. As you can tell, they are a little bit off center top to bottom. Um, but still in really good shape. The corners are good. Left and right bottom corners are good. So they'll get me for the top and bottom for sure. Uh, and the back is also in good shape minus that little speck there. So we'll see. Probably an eight. Maybe an eight because of the off-centering. Wade Boggs rookie card. The second one I got is also a little bit off-center. Top to bottom, I mean bottom to top, so um, we'll see what happens with this one as well because uh, the corners are clean, no weak corners on either of them, but both of them, weirdly enough, are off top to bottom and nothing wrong on the back, so we will see about that. And I was fortunate enough to pull two of these guys, Tony Gwynn rookie card. Very excited about that. Um, and these things look very clean. Um, once again, probably a little bit off center from top to bottom, as you see a lot of border on the bottom there. Um, but still, I'm really happy with these cards. I think I saw, noticed a little bit of a weak corner on that bottom left. But we will see, because the back also looks really clean. And the last one is also a Tony Gwynn rookie card. So we're gonna see what happens with these. Uh, this might have been the one with a little bit of corner damage. But nonetheless, this one's also a little bit off center from top to bottom, if you're looking at it carefully. But super clean card. Very excited about sending these in. I'm very nervous because I have no idea, one, what to expect, or if they're even gonna get close to what I'm looking at. So. I'm sure those of you who send cards into PSA feel the same way. So let me know in the comments if you guys see anything wrong with the cards that I maybe am not picking up. I really do appreciate that. Uh, once again, the card collecting community is so amazing. Um, you know, you jump into a live stream. I gotta give a big shout out to Jab's family. That channel's amazing. And on the live stream, you just get to talk to people and who love the same things you do. So I'm grateful that there's an outlet for this great hobby and I appreciate you guys all watching. So let me know what you guys think of the cards that I'm gonna submit. These will probably go in on Monday. Um, but thank you for watching. Keep enjoying the hobby, keep enjoying the videos and I will see you guys all again very soon.